In this video I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT to scrape almost any website. If you have any questions go ahead and drop them below, I tend to reply within a few minutes to a couple of hours and if you like this video go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to this channel. Here we are inside ChatGPT. Now in order to apply this you actually need to be a ChatGPT Plus member. You'll be able to know if you are a member or not if it says your current plan is ChatGPT Plus. If you are a member head over to GPT4 and then select the plugins. If you don't see that option go over to your settings, beta features, and enable plugins. Now you'll see a little drop down, scroll to the plugin store. This area will show you all of the external plugins you can install directly in ChatGPT. In the search plugins we want to type in scraper and we want to one click install this scraper. Once that is installed click on this drop down and scroll until you find the scraper plugin. Select it so it's activated and now that's activated inside your ChatGPT. You can actually select multiple different plugins and have a whole combination of plugins working together. But that's for tutorials inside my Brainy Automation community. Now in our field we want to tell ChatGPT to scrape something. So for this video we're going to scrape the information from this page. This is a table tennis website and it has things like clubs, so which club is playing which are playing on a specific day at a specific venue. So we're going to copy the URL of the website, head over to ChatGPT and now what we're going to say is scrape all the matches and location from this website. And now we do enter. What it's doing is it's going to the developers of this plugin and saying hey it's time to start working let's start scraping this website. Now using GPT-4 plus plugins is a little slower than using the earlier models of OpenAI, so give it a little bit of time to do its thing. And now what you see in front of us is it's specifying the map and the location of where that game was played. Okay, so now we have every match and location specified, but here's the issue. I don't actually know the address of this location. So if I navigate back to the website and head over to the contact page where it lists all the venues, it will show the addresses of each venue. So I'm going to grab this URL and now I'm going to say scrape each venue from this website for the above locations. And now I'm going to do website and paste it in. Now GPT-4 should be clever enough to recognize which location matches with the full address. So let's see if it can do it. So now what it's done is it's scraped the address and it's matching for each location. So you can see the location, the first location here is Hollinwood Cricket Club. So if we scroll down, it's detected that and now it's giving the full address or the address listed for each of those venues. So I'm going to go ahead and use the power of editing to jump to when this is finished. And there we have it, it's listed all of these things. Now you can do some really fancy stuff with this information. For example, you can say combine the first output and the second output into a table. And now what you see in front of us is it's creating it in a table for us where we can just copy and paste it. And once again, Let's jump ahead so we can see the final product. And there we have it, we have the full table listed for us. If you want to learn how to automate your business, head over to brainyautomations.com and try out the $1 taster plan. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.